Hi, everyone. I'm so glad that you are joining me today. Today, I want us to think about how much moms and dads love their children. And I bet when I say that, your mind goes right to how much your mom and dad love you and how they show that love for you. And that's a wonderful thing, but we will get to that in just a minute. First, I brought in a couple pictures because I want us to think first about the animal world. In the animal world, moms and dads also show love for their children. The first picture I brought in, you'll see, is a baby elephant. You'll see there it is with its mama. And did you know that when baby elephants are born, they are born almost completely blind? And for a while, they have to use their trunk to kind of figure out where things are and to move around. So the mom needs to care extra special for this baby that can't see very well. And what the elephant mom does is she recruits some other female elephants to help her take care of the baby. This comes in especially handy when the herd is moving and these other female elephants can help the baby elephant stay on track and protect them from any kind of harm. Then there is another animal, the kangaroo is also very special. When a baby kangaroo is born, you'll see this one right there in its mama's pouch. When a baby kangaroo is born, it is so tiny, it's only about the size of a lima bean. So if you ever have beans with any of your meals at home, you know how tiny that is. If you don't, um, you can look at one of your mom's fingernails. That's maybe about the same size. That's how small the kangaroo is when it's born. But the kangaroo, the baby kangaroo, climbs up into mama's pouch, and it can stay there for warmth and protection and milk, and it will stay there for many months. But let's go back to your parents. How do your mom and dad show that they love you? I bet we could come up with so many things. The list is really endless. Some of you maybe said, they give me good food to eat, they give me clothes to wear, they give me toys to play with, they give me a bed that I can sleep in, and I bet your mom and dad, they take you to the doctor when you're sick or hurt or just regular checkups to make sure that everything is okay. When you're hurt or sick, they probably hug you and kiss you in just so many different ways our moms and dads show that they love us. The Bible talks about another parent and how he shows his love for his children. So listen to this verse. How great is the love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. It started out, how great is the love the Father. The Father this is talking about is actually God. Did you know that God is your heavenly Father? The dads we were talking about just a few seconds ago is your earthly dad, but God is your heavenly father, and he loves you so much. This verse says he has lavished his love on us. I bet you don't use the word lavish every day. I know I don't. So how much love is love that is lavished? It is just a huge, huge amount. When I think of the word lavish, I think about something being poured out because there's so much of it. And so God just pours out his love. God actually poured out his love on your parents, and it's because he loves them so much that they're able to show all that love to you. God poured out his love, as we celebrated recently, with Jesus dying on the cross and coming back from the dead. And because of that, we get to spend eternity with God in heaven. So this love of God is so rich, so amazing. There's no greater love than the love God pours on us. Let's read that verse one more time. How great is the love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. So you are a child. Not only are you your mom and dad's child, you're God's child. So whenever you think about how much love your parents show for you, how much your mom and dad love you, I hope you remember that God loves you too. There's no greater love than God's love. So let's go ahead and pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us and giving us our parents who love us too. Thank you for being our Heavenly Father and loving us each day. Help us love you and tell others about you. 
We pray in Jesus' name, amen.